Hi, and welcome back to Peggy's Pearls. Today's pearl is about how to print jewelry tags from your software. It's great to use your software to do this because you're able to customize it and make it look exactly the way that you want it to look. I personally like to have my name and jeweler number on my jewelry tags because I tend to loan out my jewelry <laughs> a lot and I think that's very helpful. So what you're going to do is go to the report section in your software and click on under list and labels, click on jewelry. The first thing you're going to see is a box is going to come up with the jewelry list parameters. Right now, let's just talk about new jewelry. And um, so you're wanting tags for all your new jewelry. So click on the drop down arrow and choose new jewelry. Then make sure that the date the new jewelry came out is list is within the date parameters that you see there and click OK. Then a box is going to come up and you're going to see the list of everything that you've just chosen. And so if you want everything on that list, simply click mark all. And then everything there is going to be highlighted in blue. And then you'll click on the word labels. When you click on labels, then um, a screen, you're not going to see the labels automatically. You're going to see another screen. I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's going to look like this. And this is your template. And this is what you can totally customize and do the way you want. And for a full explanation of this, I'm going to tell you um, where to find that. But it's very easy to use. You can sit and play with it and move things around and um, add things and take them away. And you can make your jewelry tag look exactly like you'd like it to look. Then when you have it all totally ready, you can actually save it even. Um, but you're gonna, then you're going to want to click print. Now print, I know it's a scary word, but you don't need to get scared because print simply means print preview. So click on print and then you're going to see on the screen it's going to show you what it's going to look like. And you can look at it and decide that you like it and that's how you want it to look. If not, you can always go back, change it. Uh, so once it's the way you want it to look, then you simply click on the print icon. But the first time you print it, we do recommend that you print it just on plain paper. And um, that way you can, it prints out, you can look at it, you can even hold it up against your um, label paper and you can make sure that it all lines up well and that you're ready to go. That way you're not wasting labels. And so then you put your labels in and click the print icon and print your labels. Then they're gonna look like this. And then when you put them on, all your different jewelry, they're going to look like this. So the way you're going to find out um, more details about different um, scenarios on how to do this and how to uh, customize it and all that kind of thing, there's two different ways to do that. One is through the software. If you click on help and help manual, up at the top of your screen when you have the software open. Then, um, then in the search box, just type in jewelry tags. And it's going to take you to um, a page that's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And even a better way, on our website, we have some awesome tutorials. If you go to our website and click on our software, and then the word tutorials, a whole list of tutorials is going to come up and you're going to want to click on jewelry tags. And when you do, it's about a five minute tutorial that's going to tell you step by step how to do all of this and how to add diff even different choices that you would have and all of that. So it's a really good step by step instruction and it's visual and it's auditory and it's great. <laughs> so I hope you um, enjoy making your jewelry tags for all the new jewelry. It's just one more reason to have it, love it.